Yeah, g'day viewers. Thought I'll have a look at this old electricity meter that I brought back from uh, one of my work trips. One I did a video on a little while ago. Yeah, hopefully this meter will come out okay. Oh. Oh, bugger. And after I got back from a trip, I sort of dumped the thing out of a car and left it in the wife's petunia garden. So here it is over here. So I thought it's probably time to bring it in out of the weather and wire it up and see how we go. Yeah, right over then. I think we'll have a look inside this meter and see what condition it's in. It's had a bit of a hard life, been lying out in the bush and then been dropped and kicked around a bit so we'll see how tough this Australian made meter really is so yeah what have we got here it's a three phase it's got five rolling digits on this one 240 volt The seal is still intact. Just by physically rotating the meter, the load wheel is still free to turn by a little bit. So that's a good sign. It appears that hopefully the mechanics of this instrument are still intact. Yeah, there's the load coils and field coils, what have you. The pulse circuitry. Yeah, while I'm doing this video, I sort of had an idea. I'd like to start up one of these old engines I've got. So, I've got one over here. I'll have a quick look at it. Oh, twin cylinder lister. It's all ready to go, so let's have a look at it.
Anyway, I'll have that. I made some uh, modifications to this meter. This one has like a pulsed output uh, for recording the measurements and uh, uses like an opto pickup. There's two of them in that look at the load wheel when it's rotating and they send a pulse uh, to the counting circuitry here. And basically what I've done, I figured I can probably just use the pulse outputs just to uh, turn on some LEDs that I fitted to the face here. So this is basically a quick circuit I threw together. There's the load wheel. As it rotates you've got two sets of infrared LEDs looking at, uh, shining at the disc and then when uh, as the disc rotates there are dark patches that move with it and so it basically sends a pulse of light to the detector. And I just use a couple of NPN transistors, BC337s, just to simply drive the LEDs off the low voltage supply off the circuit board. Yeah, it's just got a 10k resistor through the base here. Anyway, uh, this is the little mods I did. Here the transistors sitting here. Resistors. So I'm just picking up the pulses there. Just makes the thing look nice when it's turning. Yeah, I'll use a old street light head as a test load. It's a typical street light head in Central Australia. It's got a metal cage to stop people throwing rocks at them because they like to go around smashing. And it has a uh, photo cell to turn the uh, lamp on at night, so we have a look at it. It's a high pressure sodium type with a capsule in here. Typical it's gone out. I think this capsule's faulty in this one. Well, I've just dug up this old Morelli fan that's been lying around the shed for quite a few years, as you can see by all the cobwebs and oil and grease all over this thing. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty, this old fan. So, we'll give this one a whirl. Yeah, the blades are a bit wonky, but still runs, which is good. Okay, let's see what this meter is doing.
Friday. Well, thank you everyone for watching and hope you all have a great day. Till next time.